Hey everyone, welcome to my garden, and today I want to talk about why I switched from using Rockwell cubes to using Cocoa Core, as well as how to take a double cup method and transplant it into a self-watering cracky system like you see in front of you here. I have these four plants that I transplanted yesterday and they're doing quite well. If you look closely the cocoa core is nice and moist, absorb it's absorbing the moisture very well down from down below. And I'll teach you step by step how to do that. But first let's talk about why we made a switch. And some of you have been following me and going step by step with my grow as well as asking me for advice and I've been helping a lot of you the best that to I can, best of my knowledge. So let's start with Rockwell cubes. This is basically a one inch Rockwell cube that has been, it's, it's an expanded rock that's been um, like treated at a very high temperature and spun into this fine material here. Then as well as compressed, this thing is used for seedlings to grow in, it absorbs moisture very well, it retains the water for a long time, as well as it's pretty pH balanced. You don't have to do much with this thing, whatever nutrients or fertilizer you, you give it, it's directing it right back in, up into the plant. However, a couple of bad things about this, this material, if it's ripped or torn or shredded in any way, it gets so dusty and those fine particles that fly up into the air if you breathe that in, that's very harmful to you and, and it's actually quite dangerous. A lot of people use this material as insulation in houses and buildings. And so essentially if you're inhaling, what you're inhaling is rock particles. So I mean, that's definitely not something you wanna, you wanna be taken in. And when you're growing using this material, not only does sometimes small pieces break off and it goes into the plant, like around the plant, but it's very susceptible to algae growth and bacteria. I mean, just look at that. This is my thyme plant right here. I mean, look at how disgusting that is, honestly. I mean, I'm not growing these plants for aesthetics to look at. To, I want to eat these plants. I want to enjoy it. I, I specifically grow homegrown food to not have to worry about what goes into my food or how the food was grown, was it healthy, was there bacteria. So being that once Rockwell cubes won't grow algae or bacteria on it just on its own, once you introduce any types of nutrients or fertilizer to it, and it's exposed to light, it starts developing algae. And I do not want to absorb that in any way. So using cocoa core is actually an organic 100% material that's excellent and does not get infected like that plant there. So I'm actually changing all of my plants. I'm going to be starting over. I already harvested all of my lettuce. And that's going to be a nice, delicious salad. So I'm restarting from all of my plants, and I'm going to be using strictly cocoa core, as, as well as hydroponic clay pebbles, which is very important for how the system works. So now that you know why we made the switch, let's go step by step how to do it exactly. So these plants have been grown using the double cup method, and when you're making the transplant, you always want the uh, grow media to be nice and moist. So let's take this tomato plant, for example. We'll take that out. You already see nice roots developing on the bottom. You know it's time to change. And transplant into a self-watering container. This way you don't have to keep watering it. So we want to pour the water in there. I usually pour about an inch or just about halfway, a little bit less, maybe 40%. And cocoa core is really nice because it actually absorbs the moisture very, very quickly and it, hold, it really holds it in. I mean, this thing holds in 
nine times its its weight in water. So it's been about five, six seconds now. Let's pick that up. See what how, how fast that look at that how, how, how fast that drank that up. I mean there's not much left there, so let's just wait a little bit more, just make sure it gets all of that. And we'll get our materials ready. You want to have some net cups. I'm using three inch net cups. These are excellent for wide mouth mason jars to go in. When it goes in there, it fits perfectly, has a little bit of wiggle room, so you're able to actually turn the plant if you need to adjust it or direct any light. So now that the plants absorb that, what you want to do is you want to pick it up and let's put that down for a second. Since I'm doing this one-handed, a nice trick is put the plant between your fingers, like so. Don't squeeze it too hard, just kind of hold it in place. And then when you flip it, the cup should come right off. And, I mean, look at that. Look at the crazy roots. Oh, look at this one huge one wrapping around my hand. So you want to be careful with that. That didn't absorb the moisture as well as I wanted it to. So we'll just put that down carefully. And we'll take our net cup. And let's go down to the hydrogen. This is clay pebbles. You want to fill it up halfway to the net cup. This way the bottom half of the net cup will have the clay pebbles. And the top half of will have the cocoa core. Now, being that the bottom half is closed up, it should stop most of the sediments from falling down. And you want to fill it basically like this, even a little bit less than that. Because I want it to be really just about halfway. So shake that down. As you see, about halfway. Let's go back here. And we'll take our plant. We want to pick that up carefully and gently place that inside and kind of wiggle, wiggle it into place. Make sure that you want to, when you, it's nice and straight, you want to make sure. Now, you always want to compact it, so we're going to take a, some more cocoa core. Let's bring this inside here. And you want to put some on both sides and just really pack it in. Don't push it down too hard because you don't want to damage the roots or crush the roots. But press nice and firm and pack it down so it's nice and level. This way, the plant has a nice amount of cocoa core for its roots to spread out and expand into, as well as the bottom half has the, a lot of space for aeration and for the roots to really spread down and go all the way down to the bottom. So now that that's packed in, what I like to do is actually just gently Tap that down just to make sure that the clay pebbles really get into position and get into place. Not a lot of movement. And as you see here, this is basically how you do it. You have halfway clay pebbles and the top half is the cocoa core. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our glass jar. And this is basically like I mentioned earlier. A mason jar this is a half I mean sorry a quartz mason jar that's wide mouth a three inch opening now the way you know how much water to pour into this plant is uh, quite simple the way that I do it is I like to you place the jar on the side and then you take a empty sorry uh, empty neck cup and then just place that inside now once that inside when you pour the water in, being that this is a clear jar and an empty net cup, you can actually see where the water is exactly. And once you get it to the right level you want, 
you just switch it out with your ready neck cup so we're going to put that in where i like to pour the water up to is basically being that this there's two grow medias in this um in this grow i like to pour it instead of an eighth of an inch like i normally do with the cracky system when it's just uh the basically the what is it called the rockwell cubes on the bottom since that thing absorbs moisture really fast you pour it about to the eighth of an inch but being that there's two grow medias in here i pour it a little bit slightly higher so about half an inch up to here so let's do that right now and it absorbs the moisture very well as you see here these plants were planted uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday and they're doing quite well so we're just going to begin to pour that in and you want to keep watch of how high you're pouring and so like i mentioned earlier just to that top half of that first line to the top of that first line about half an inch so that's perfect take that out and put in our plant now that that's in there that's done we'll put that into our system and there we have it now you've transplanted from a double cup into a hydroponic self-watering kratky system like you see in front of you here so we've talked about a lot here today and i know some of you might have some questions definitely leave them down below I'll do my best to answer everything as well as i'll post um some information down below of all the materials that i use and if you if you have any questions like i said leave them down below don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching